are you doing here? What, don't you remember? We had a sleepover. I spent the night in that chair watching you bleed to death all night. Well, I'm not bleeding. You're soaked all the way through again. We have got to get you to the hospital. No. Well, no. Dying is not an option, okay? Well, what if such just got his crew waiting outside the emergency room, huh? Then we'll call the police and have them escort us. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, nobody's gonna notice that. Hey, where you going? We'll huh? find out. Hey, I swear, if you tell the cops, I ain't... Oh, okay, I'm you scared. Yeah, well, you ought to be. Sugar? Honey, I brought you some more clothes. Lucy girl, I'm sending you to the showers. Oh, honey. I know you're hurting, but you're a tough lady, and you're gonna get through this. But you've gotta make the first step. Why would I really wanna do that? Nothing makes a difference anymore. I don't think it ever will. What you doing? I thought you were working. Is that why you didn't come and say hello to me when you came back with Aunt Charlene seeing Lucy? I don't know. I want to try something out. But it didn't work. So, uh, how was your visit with Lucy? I bet you guys did all kinds of little girly things, huh? Mm-hmm. Did, did you get to see the fireworks? No, I was tired, then I went to bed. Hey, Serena, this is pretty good. You, um, you should show this to Lucy next time you see her. I don't want to see her again. better leave some for the rest of us. Dr. Thornhart. Um, I was into... Can you believe it? They actually have me weeding through all this stuff. Like, I really want to stand here and pick out all the stuff that expired two years ago. Hmm. Who ever heard of bandages with a limited shelf life? You know, only in America. Good morrow, Kate. Looking fresh as a daisy, as usual. Oh. Oh. Turning point. The Battle of Hastings. Is this what passes for light reading where you come from? I prefer romance novels. This is for a patient I admitted last night. The patient was in 610. Any idea where they moved him to? Out the front door. On whose authority? Dr. Boardman. And where would the good doctor be right about now? Uh, on rounds. Yeah. You know, honey, when I was getting ready, Scott said, if there's anything you need, anything at all, just let him know. No, there is nothing I need. And in fact, Aunt Charlene, you can leave if you like. Go ahead. Now, Sugar, look, I, I don't happen to be good company, obviously. You need to remember that there's some people depending on you. Serena, I know that, Aunt Charlene. I'm well aware of that. I, and I want to spend as much time with her as possible. Well, then why don't you pick her up after day camp today? You know, take her out somewhere. Take her to the beach or fireman's carnival. Oh, sugar, you need some fresh air anyway. You know, a lot of people would be at the beach today, and, and then she burns. Serena burns badly, and, you know, the carnival... You remember last year that 
tilt a spin thing, it, it crashed and killed that little boy, and there's total strangers there. I can't take her there, absolutely not. Somebody might steal her. Oh, honey. You cannot live like this. Well, and I, no. You can't ask Serena to live like Aunt this. Charlie, I cannot let anything happen to her. Don't you understand that she is all I have left? I cannot. What are you doing? Make an old McDonald's farm there? No. Actually, our house. See? There's Sidman right there. And there's you. And there's me in the window. And there's Aunt Shirley by the kitchen. Who's that over there? That's Lucy. Can't she be closer to the house? She doesn't want to be. Serena, did um, something happen to your visit with Lucy? All she did was pretend that things were okay, but they weren't. All she did was keep on telling me things not to do, and we couldn't even go up to the rooftop and watch the fireworks. She didn't let you watch the fireworks? I snuck out for a couple of minutes and watched them, but then she got very mad at me like I'd been missing for like hours upon hours. Then she started yelling at me, loud. Well, now, now, you know, you can't go wandering off without telling somebody. You should have told Lucy, you know, that that's, that's a no-no. Before, when she got mad at me, she'd tell me the reason why, and I'd understand her. Now it's, like, different. It's like she... Like she what? Daddy, she scared me. Please don't make me go and visit your kid. <laughs> Yeah. How's your night? One PCPOD, two MIs, and a kid who swallowed a bottle of shampoo. Is that bacon I smell? Mm -hmm. It is um, part of the total He-Man breakfast I am cooking just for you. Oh, I am liking this <laughs> new quality of care I'm getting. Yeah? Just don't get the idea that this is some kind of reward for you playing hero. Who, me? Yeah, yeah. You could have been killed when you pulled that girl from the fire. Just part of the job. Uh-huh. The fireman's job. You are a paramedic. We were first on the scene. L let me ask you, would you be so worked up if the kid trapped inside had been Neil? Look, look, I I'm not saying that I don't want you to save lives. Just don't lose yours in the bargain. You have so much of it left to live, hmm? Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Like how? Well, you have the whole day off, so we could go on a hike, or we could take a nice cold dip in the lake, No, 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 no. Cold water is not the answer. Something a little warmer. Hmm? Mm. Hmm? Mm. Okay. Mm, okay, you? You? You hop in the shower, I'm going to put breakfast in the oven, and the last one in the bed is going to have to do all the dishes. Okay? Right. No, I'm not a doctor, but this looks a lot worse than it was. I can tell you it's nothing. I just don't know. Oh, please. Sorry. I'll go grab my cell phone call, Frank Scanlon. The numbers in my wallet, right? Okay. Allison Barrington. Can I speak to Frank? Um, well, you know what? He's busy right now. It's about Jamal, the guy who helped him when he got shot, and it's emergency. Well, um, I'll, I'll give him the message when he's free, but it really, it, it could be a while. Hey, Courtney! I, I'm coming! Or you know what? You can, you can just try him later. Okay, bye. Well? Well, I'm just putting breakfast on hold, so then you can put a couple of your holds on me. Mm -hmm. We're running out of options, Jamal. You can always go to church and light a candle.
name's Fred. I caught him out of a gumball machine when I was five. He fell out of my pocket one day, and my mom backed over him with the jag. <coughs> but he never got a scratch on him, so I always kept him for good luck. I figured, you know, he might rub off on you. I think I need a... Oh, ugly guy. <laughs> Well, it's better than nothing. Friend Frank was no help. You didn't even talk to him. Well, he was busy, okay? So here are your options. We can call 911 and get you over to the hospital. Yeah, and they pass me up and then Cedric can kill me. Well, better yet, why don't you just save him the trouble and bleed to death right there? Okay. But he has like a second to call us back. And then I'm totally gonna call 911. <coughs> so have you decided? All right. Hmm? Hmm? Mm, baby, after that workout you just gave me, I need to veg. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Then why don't we go to the lake and we can rent a boat and I'll row you out to the island, huh? Mm. Hmm? Oh, no, 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 no. You can't answer that. It's your day off. Yeah, Please. and if it's my boss and I blow this off, I could have a lot of days off. Oh. oh. Yeah, this is Frank Scanlon. You paged me? It's Allison Barrington. You've got to get over here right away. Jamal's been shot. Where are you? At the apartment. All right, I'm on my way. Look, I'm, I'm gonna have to take a rain check on that boat ride. Sorry. Who gave you the right to throw my patient out in the street? Isn't that where he lives? And where do you live, you pompous clown? Not in this century, surely. Alcoholism is not a moral failing, it's a disease. And at some point, Stan decided not to get treatment. That is a moral choice. Oh, all right, so because he's made some mistakes along the way, you take it upon yourself to punish him. He's doing all this on his own. The guy's committing suicide one drink at a time. Now, I'd rather spend my time and the resources of this hospital on a patient who wants to live. One with a healthy insurance policy, right. But when you were out practicing medicine in the wild, didn't you have patients you couldn't help because you lacked resources? Yes. And then there were those we tried to save with nothing more but simple compassion. In medicine, you may want to try to reorder if you ever had any in the first place. Lucy, come on, open the door. This is important. It's, it's important what? You, you got a lead on Christina, something? No, Lucy, it's about our other daughter. Why is it so dark in here? I like it that way. Well, what do you want? Sit alone in the dark like Miss Havisham? Look, I, I'm not totally alone. I have Christina on that video. Or do you want to take that away from me, too? Lucy, it's not good for you to watch the tape over and over again. Look, you said you wanted to talk about Serena. What is it? OK. Remember last Christmas, when she called you mom for the first time instead of Lucy? What I'm saying is that she... she really misses you. Well, I miss her, too. I, I miss her like crazy, my little pumpkin head. You know what we should do? We should have her stay with you half the week, and then she could come spend the rest of the time with me here. That'd be great. That doesn't make any sense. Yes, it does. It makes complete sense. I let my guard down. I, I turned my back for just a minute, and Christina disappeared. Well, I'm not going to have that happen with Serena, so if she's with me at least as much time as possible, then I, I won't let that happen. So you think passing her back and forth like she's some kind of a hot potato is going to help her? I think what's great is if she spends time with both of us equally. I think that's fair, isn't it? Well, now you're talking like joint custody, like... You're talking like our marriage is over. This summer... Oh I didn't 
didn't kill him like you. Someone is playing a deadly game. Are you sure this is a good idea? No one else will know what happened in that room. There can't be any slip-ups. Family, phone. Hello? The terror begins. General Hospital, ABC Daytime. Yes, hi, I'm looking for a homeless man. May I show up at your shelter? My name is Stan Benton. He's, um, 5'7", about 160 pounds. Late 50s. Yeah. Okay, well, if he does show up, please don't let him out of your sight. And page Dr. Ian Thornot at the GH. Yeah. No, uh, I'm gonna try Mercy Shoulder next, yes. I've got the number. Okay, thank you. Men who had lived valiant lives, now mostly forgotten by the country. Often died poor, alone, and without a place to call home. I can't believe it. Was it really just a few months ago we got married? Lucy, come on, listen to me. Get some help. Talk to Gail. I, I don't want to talk to Gail. I don't want to talk to anybody. Nobody can help me unless they can give me Christina back. Well, then let me... Try and help you, okay? You can't Otherwise... help me. I. The only person who can help right now is Serena. Why is that? You know, when she came over yesterday, we had so much fun. I could forget just for a tiny moment because she needed me so much. You know, more than ever, I think. I want to see her again. I want to see her tomorrow. That's not going to happen, Lucy. Why not? Because Serena had a tough time being here with you. I mean, the way you are now. What are you talking about? You scared her. That's insane. What are you doing? Are you just trying to hurt me? No, I'm not. Lucy, come on. Serena loves you. She is crazy about you. It's just that right now she's so confused and everything is, is, is upside down for her. And the, and the last thing she needs is to come over here and spend time in this dark, depressing, dismal room. But I, 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 I really need her. What am I supposed to do? I'll tell you what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to come over to our house and see her. I can't, I can't do that. Lucy, listen. You can do that. You can come over. No, I can't. I can't because... Well, there's all... I, I just can't. I put all those things away. It's not, it's not just the things. It's... It's all those memories. Well, if that's the case, then where in this town are you going to go? Nowhere. All right, then. Sit here in the dark if you want. But until you pull yourself together, Serena is not coming over. What are you doing? Are you threatening to keep Serena away from me? No. That's up to you. What'd you do? Trip on your shoelaces? Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's a heck of a wound you got in your side. Yeah, well, you know me. I don't do things in a small way, but how'd it happen? We were just hanging out watching fireworks, and suddenly he slumped over, and there was like blood everywhere. Any idea who might want to use your photography practice? That creep Cedric. That's who. His BP is way down. You've lost a lot of blood, and this wound has got to be treated. He should have gone to the hospital the minute you were shot, or at least called me before this thing went sour. I tried. Didn't Courtney tell you? I told her that Jamal was needed help and for you to come right away. You be back to my feet, maybe. Just pat something up. Maybe something. Oh! Oh, God. Oh. What's happening? I can't get a pulse. His pressure is way too low. What is that? Is he gonna die? If he isn't inside the ER soon, yeah, he is not going to make it. Stay 
tuned for scenes from the next Port Charles. On the next Port Charles, what about friendship? When I need a conscience, I'll call you. I'm gonna put this family back together again. I'm gonna need some help here. I've been exposed to HIV. Get your very own Nurses Ball t-shirt by visiting abc.com, part of the Go Network.